Good evening and welcome to tonight's Committee of the Whole. Roll call, please. Odeker. Present. Hansen. Matt Starr. Here. Gilson. Here. Hildebrand. Here. Penquitz. Here. Shilsky. And Nelson. Here. Let the record show we have a quorum. Next is motion to approve the minutes from the June 10th, 2022 meeting. And will we approve the minutes from June 10th, 2022? Second, Hildebrand. We have a first and a second. Any discussion? Um, Question. Um, the minutes state that the meeting started at 8 a.m. and ended at 8.45 p.m. Oh. <laughs> so Oof, long meeting. But it was that Friday morning, so it just it has to go a.m. That, that's why we got that big check in the mail, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that... Uh, change to the minutes. Any other comments? Thank you, Alderperson Matt Storff. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Next is the Sugar Shack structure in City Park. This is a conceptual review and Alder Nelson and City Administrator Tim Blakesley have some comments for us and information so take team go sure i guess i'll just lead it off and i'll okay. hand it over to alder nelson here just briefly so obviously uh, city park has an abundance of sugar maple trees um, alder nelson tonight would like to bring his concept of a sugar shack in city park um, uh, to provide a permanent location for maple syrup production i'll let him, him through um, run through all of the kind of details and his plan for that um, so should the project move forward um, staff would like to get feedback here tonight at Committee of the Whole because obviously Alder Nelson doesn't want to go through all the work and then eventually council say, no, we don't really want this. So this is really uh, providing direction to Alder Nelson for his plans of the Sugar Shack. Uh, staff would eventually recommend, uh, you know, at, if this moves forward, a, an agreement uh, between the city and a, a future nonprofit for maintenance and operations uh, indefinitely moving forward. Uh, a, a formal uh, review and approval would be required by the Common Council uh, prior to anything actually taking place. Uh, Plan Commission was all, would also review and approve the, the design of the building. Uh, so with that, um, staff would turn it over to Alder Nelson to talk about his project. Okay. Um, well, about a, a year ago when we were planning for the first Maple Festival, uh, Barb Drury, who was in the audience, and, and I discussed the possibility that eventually we would have a permanent structure to the west side of City Park that would be a roughly maybe 16 by 20 foot footprint, which isn't a very big building, but it would be a, a place where you could cook maple sap down to syrup um, and demonstrate that process to, to kids. Uh, for instance, today we had, I think, 50 kids from Riverview, the fifth grade class, over to, there to tap several trees. Um, really a good bunch of kids. I uh, congratulate their teachers for being so good with those kids. But, you know, they're just learning a process. Um, sugar make, be, maple syrup being made in this area probably runs maybe centuries back. I mean, the Indians that lived here harvested sap to make uh, syrup for their own use as a source of sugar. Um, the Drury's settled in this area, I think in 1848, Barb, something like that? Oh, okay, and, and prop and actually started making syrup at that time, not commercially or anything, but for their own use to make bread or, or whatever. So it's got a good historical um, aspect to it. Um, and we just want to teach kids some of the science behind it, some of the, you know, important history behind maple syrup, and this is one way to do it. The building, like, like I said, might be 16 by 20, roughly. Uh, you see the, the picture of the one we have here that shows what a typical New England sugar house looks like. Kind of an attractive building with wood siding and a cupola up above so the steam can escape when it's cooking. Um, 
we would probably put barn doors on the front so you could you know observe both inside and outside when a school group or scout group or whatever came over um, to see what's going on so we're proposing that we would we start raising funds for this uh, a lot of it would be volunteer labor uh, the high school construction class is already showing a great deal of interest in being involved in the actual construction, which is good in itself. Um, I'd plan on being there as much as I could too. <laughs> it would be like a post and beam type construction like the old barns were made out of, with mortises and tenons and all that. I don't know, anything else? Pete's been involved. Um, in talking, he really got the school involved. Bo Biller is a, the construction teacher at, at the high school. They actually have a sawmill at the high school that they can saw some of the timbers for making the posts and beams. Um, anything I can add? John, can I speak to? Sure, please, Barb. Um, I had proposed to the Puma Foundation in 2016 some sort of project, you know, tapping trees and stuff. I'm sure you've all realized that the city of Plymouth has a tremendous amount of maple trees. City Park alone has 75, we've counted them. Um, it's not just the vision of building a sugar shack, but what this community could do with the resources that we have. There's a community that my husband and I have visited in Shepherd, Michigan. Since 1958, that community has been making maple syrup as a community. And that community probably is half the size of Plymouth. They've taken that money that they have made through their maple syrup production. They totally run their rec programs with it. They have built their swimming pools, all their sports fields, everything. Any kid that works in it gets a free uniform. They don't have to pay any fees. It's amazing what this community has done. And that was, so it's more than just, in my mind, just building a building to make syrup for a couple weeks out of the year. It's also to bring the community together, um, to doing something together. And, um, and we're, you know, we don't have definite plans, you know, what we're going to do with it. But I think it is, it's a step forward to start utilizing some of the resources that we have. John talks a lot about, you know, educating the kids, and that's extremely important. But how many adults know much about ma making maple syrup? And, you know, the value of it and the goodness of it. The state of Wisconsin has also put a huge amount of money, and they've actually hired somebody to get more maple syrup production going in the state. Wisconsin only taps about 15 to 20 percent of their maple trees. If we tap like 80 or 90 percent like Vermont does, you can't admit, I mean, we'd be number one in the world. Um, so, you know, those are just some things for you to think about. Um, you know, my family obviously loves it. Um, we've got the eighth generation now learning how to, my 11-year-old niece is learning how to boil syrup. So, it, anybody can learn. Do you have any questions? Thank you very much, Barb. Uh, it, it sounds like from a concept uh, to formalize some sort of idea type of thing would, would bear some merit and looking into. Uh, question, John, are you looking for city funds to uh, participate in this or in an, in an agreement? Um, would it be one dollar a year for renting, say, the structure? Uh, who's putting the structure up? Uh, who's paying the electric bill, et cetera? I mean, those are some quick, obvious questions that that come to mind. And if there's able to produce some sort of revenue, certainly that could offset, you know, some of that that cost as well. But I mean, we don't know what the potential is. Yeah, I, you know, as far as electricity, we would probably just put one solar panel on there 
just enough for like a night light or an inside light in the evening if somebody came to help us boil some sap. Um, so it wouldn't be a lot. But we would cover all the expenses of construction. Um, and it's already been, I think, agreed we would take care of the maintenance through time also. Okay. So wouldn't be any expense to the city in itself. I, I say that about some of the unthought of expenses and we have the Plymouth Mill Pond Lake Association has has the fountain going in in the mill pond and we provide electricity to that but the Lake Association pays for that electric 12 months a year so there's no cost to the city and I think those are some of the important parts that we look at partnering with groups and organizations so that uh, we have uh, limited exposure and insurance indemnity and things like that. Okay. And we're, we're not looking for total approval tonight, just a consensus. I hope that uh, you know, we should move forward and can start asking people to make donations towards it. No. I'll start that out right. by saying I would definitely approve this. You know what you got going. It's just where you're going to put it, and that can come later. You know, yeah. it's just that direction. Those are your details. Mike, <clears throat> I have two thoughts. I like the idea, and a generation or two from now, if this, if no one is doing this in that building anymore, I think we should have water and power to it. If it's cheaper to do that now, in case it becomes used for something else. And then my, my other thought was when you're when you're driving past the park you see the bandstand and the cake stand and they have a certain design and color to them. So at least on the street side, if you could incorporate that and then maybe have your your other facade on away from the street. That's just my thought. I hate to see something that looks out of place. Yeah. There are just just my thoughts. Amy, question? Um, no questions. I, uh, I'm all for it. Diane? I just was thinking log cabin. You know? <clears throat> That's Angie? all. I'm for it. I think there's a lot of details that need to get hashed out. But Oh, yeah. Charlie? Definitely in favor of a good idea. Bob? All oh, good to be. <laughs> I think you got to go. Okay. Thank so, concept-wise, it's looking good, and keep the ball rolling. Let's see what we can come up with. Good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Chair, entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a first and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Ayes have it. We stand adjourned. We have a.